Hey guys, so today I begin by using my Clean and Clear Moisturizer, as always. Okay, then for primer, I went in with Maybelline Master Prime. This stuff works really great. And for foundation, I went in with my MAC Full Coverage Foundation, and I just stippled that all over my face. Alright, so to conceal those under eye circles, I went in with the Maybelline Master Conceal and I just placed it underneath my eyes with my fingers to warm up the product and I finished it off by blending it with my breath. Okay, then to set everything, I went in with my Cody Airspun Powder, which is amazing, and I baked that face. Cooked. Baked? I don't know. Anyway, so today I really wanted to do a full matte look, so I completely caked up my face. And this stuff doesn't make you cakey at all, but it's amazing. Try it out. Okay, to bronze up the face, I went in with Tarte's Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which is my all-time favorite, and I just blended it everywhere I wanted bronziness. Then for deeper contour, I went in with the Bahama Mama bronzer and I just contoured my face, chiseling those cheekbones, the sides of my nose, you know the drill, everywhere you want a little contour. Alright, then I just went ahead and cooked a little bit and blended it all away. Blended it, I can't say that. Moving on to highlight, I used two of them. I used the um, Becca Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. And then I topped it off with the... I forgot the name of this highlighter. Um, yeah, I'll put it in the description below. For blush, I tried to use something different. Went in with my Miss Chic Blush, $1. One dollar, and it's amazing. It is in the shade Sunday. All right, then just blended everything out, and to top it off, to set all the powders, I went in with my Mario Badesco skincare spray. For brows, I went in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium, as always, and I cleaned it up using my NYX concealer, yellow corrector, and just gave them shape. Shipe. I just gave them the shape I wanted, and yes, that's how I did it. Okay, for eye primer, I went in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Can you believe I'm not using my MAC one? But this stuff works pretty good. I've tested it out, and I actually am liking it. Okay, for the first color, as a transition, I went in with Bamboo from MAC, and just warmed up those eyes. For my second transition color, I went in with the shade Cork, and I just blended it in with Bamboo. Okay, next for another, I don't know, I kind of wanted warmer creases, so I went in with, um, what is that color? Salted Caramel from the Chocolate Bar Palette and worked it into the crease. Okay, then I went ahead and went into my Coastal Scents 2 Revealed 2 Palette. I used the warm, the maroon shade in there and oh my god, it's my favorite. You guys already know if you watch my videos. And I just popped that onto the outer corner of the eye and kind of worked it a little bit into the crease. It is just gorgeous. I love that color. I forgot who asked for a maroon look in one of my last videos, so here you go. Okay. 
Okay, so for all over the lid, I went in with this pink shade and it's pretty matte so I just worked it onto the lids and then I reapplied the maroon shade as I needed it. Okay, and to deepen up the look and give it a little more dimension, I went in with, I think it's called Triple Fudge, and I worked that on the outer, a very outer corner, and just worked it in just a little bit. I love, love this look. Okay, for a little bit of brow bone highlight, I went in with Brulee from MAC and just buffed it all in together. Next, I used the sparkling pink shade and I applied a little bit of the Too Faced glitter glue and just popped that right into the inner corner. For eyeliner, I'm using Jordana's 12 hour liner and then I went ahead and smudged all the colors that I used up above to the lower lash line. Then, like always, I used my NYC liquid Okay, next I went ahead and prepped my lashes for falsies and I used my Benefit Roller Roll Up I can't think of the name and my MAC Extended Play Mascara for the lower lashes and I popped on some lashes using my Duo Dark Glue then for lips I went in with the Wet n Wild Optional Clothing Optional and I topped it off with the NYX Butter Lip Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee as I waited for my lashes to dry. And that's it guys, I really really hope that you enjoyed this look. I freaking loved it, so thanks for watching, I will talk to you later, bye.